Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another videos for MRCS. And this is the question solve session. Question solve is one of the best way to prepare yourself for MRCS. Like jump here is the question. So first of all, for any question, read the question very carefully. Here a 73 years old man undergo a subtotal isophagectomy with anastomosis of the stomach to the cervical esophagus whose vessel will be primarily responsible for the arterial supply of the esophageal portion of the anastomosis so here after careful reading we have to find out the key points of the question here we can see a 73 years old man undergoes subtotal esophagectomy that means part of the esophagus is also present and anastomosis with the stomach with cervical esophagus that means thoracic and abdominal esophagus was removed whose vessel will be primarily responsible for the arterial supply of the esophageal portion of the anastomosis so we have to find out the cervical part of the esophagus the blood supply of the cervical part of the esophagus so we had the options the options are superior thyroid artery internal carotid artery direct branch from thoracic aorta and inferior thyroid artery and subclavian artery so we have to find out one of the uh, five options who is from which the blood supply arises and gives the blood supply to the uh, remnant part of the esophagus that means cervical part of the esophagus in this picture we can see the uh, esophagus and it's different part and blood supply of the different part here this is the cervical part thoracic part and abdominal part so first of all in the abdominal part we can see the abdominal esophagus it is uh, receives blood supply from here and it is the esophageal branch of the left gastric artery so in the lower part esophageal part of the esophageal branch of left gastric artery it supplies the abdominal esophagus and in the thoracic part we can see the it this different branches and the branches are arise from directly from here we can see the esophageal branch of the thoracic aorta that means from the direct from the thoracic aorta different uh, in different part uh, esophageal branches derive and here this is the cervical part of the esophagus and in this cervical part we can see the esophageal branch and this esophageal branch is uh, derived from this artery and this is the inferior thyroid artery so cervical part of the esophagus after esophagectomy it is supplied by the esophageal branch and this esophageal branch is a branch of the inferior thyroid artery in this picture here we, we also can see this is cervical esophagus thoracic esophagus and the cervical esophagus it is supplied by the esophageal branch of the inferior thyroid artery so thy in, esophageal branch of inferior thyroid artery it supplies the cervical part of the esophagus and in the thoracic part uh, uh, the thoracic esophagus it uh, receives direct from the direct from the descending thoracic aorta different branch derived and it supplies the esophagus so our final answer here uh, it is the inferior thyroid artery and it gives branch esophageal branch this branch is responsible for the arterial supply of the esophageal portion that means in the cervical part of the esophagus here in short the artery supply of the esophagus in the upper third it is supplied by inferior thyroid artery esophageal branch mid thyroid mid third that means in thoracic part mainly it is supplied direct from the descending thoracic aorta and lower part it receives branch from the left gastric artery thank you